Do you know what it is to live 20 years without a heart? Do I know? Do I know how that feels? Yes, you bastard, I know. He was gone. And they flames interrupted. They were all gone. For 20 years I was haunted by the memory of you. 20 years ago, I shut the door on the past. The world I'd left only moments ago was now dust. And it was the hardest thing I've ever done. Do you know what it's like to love someone? And never be able to give them happiness. What is it that you want from me? I want to know when you're going to come back from the fucking past. Stop, stop. Simply because you were not born the right person for them. You asked me to leave behind everything that truly mattered to me. All too well, I accept your conditions. How did you do it? Finally say goodbye, Michael, to that one person you loved most in all the world. Jamie Fraser. My love. You'd never leave your beloved team. You left me. I didn't want to. Left you. I love you. Left you. I love you. I would have died gladly at Culloden with you. Once, I had thought I was whole. I'd been able to love a man, to bear a child, to heal the sick. And all these things were natural parts of me. I wanted that again. I suppose you'll never tell me the full story. I was born on October the 20th. In the year 1918, that's 200 years from now. You lived <laughs> through these years, then. This is the year I became a nurse. Healer, I'm a nurse. During the World War. I'm a doctor. How remarkable it is that you're a physician, you being a lady. Particularly when others might accuse such a woman of witchcraft. I... No! She's a witch. I smell the vapors of hell. You the, the devil. devil. Be gone, evil demon. What are you? I come from another time. I'm from the future. You're a kind heart. I was trying to help it. We have no idea what you're dealing with. I was just trying to help. Doctor, healer, a witch. But I'm not afraid of what they call me. You can't live your life afraid of being who you are. That's what I was born to be. And will be till I die. She would heal men who've been cut in half by swords, blown to pieces by cannon fire, without flinching. She saved many lives. The lady was fearless in the battles prior to Culloden. I can assure you, I am no fairy tale sorceress. But you can all the dates. When things will happen. When people will die. I don't know about you, or Jamie, about any of us. We're at war. The war had taught me to cherish the present because tomorrow might not ever come to pass. Can't help but feel sometimes that all of this could be ripped away at any moment. People out there dying alone are people I know. Save them! <laughs> people I love. You can end up dead tomorrow. That's the hell of it, isn't it? Mama. Whether you want to say goodbye or not, they're gone and... I know, he's dead. It's time for you to come home now. You have to go on living without them. Because that's what they would want. But ever since I've arrived back, it's been so much harder than I could ever have imagined. So far, I've been assaulted, threatened, kidnapped, and somehow, I knew that my journey had only just begun. I've lived through a fucking world war. There was another fucking war. And I have lost. Where, where is my baby? My oh, child. I lost two husbands. I've been starved with an army and I've been beaten and I've been betrayed and I've... You know, I've been imprisoned and I was not. I just closed the door on that night. I am supposed to be shattered with this. Walked away. Well, I won't be. I haven't looked back ever since until now. What is that feel like? Well, that's the beauty of it. Sorry, Mrs. Randall, you, you won't feel a thing. I'm awake. What has happened here is too much for any one of us to bear. I'm so scared. I can't. 
be helpless and alone ever again. Lonely, are you? It will just be like lying in that ditch again. Helpless and powerless to move. Were you indeed alone? The only way we can live with it is to carry it. Whatever happens, you'll never be alone again. We have to face this together. We must go together. Together. Claire Elizabeth Beecham. Dr. Randall. Mistress Fraser. Wife. Mother. Seven, grandmother. Eight, nine, ten. Who was I now? I don't belong here. I had a life. I had a career. A home. Friends. But yet here we all are, all of us, because of my selfishness. Not as if you haven't done that before, though, is it? Lying. Loveless marriage. Leaving when you should have stayed. Staying when you should have gone. You were selfish. You were selfish. It's my fault. Everything since I first came to this time. Because I desperately wanted to be with you. He was the love of my life. Because I loved you more than the life that I had. Your selfishness has brought so much to so many. No, oh, but I haven't ever given you cause to regret it. Not for a single day. I'd do it all again. And more. To be with you. Even now, after all the pain and death and heartbreak that followed, I still would make the same choice. <laughs>